talking about when all my symptoms had started and basically when I knew I was getting sick. Um, a lot of people ask me this question and I just want to put this out there like when I got sick and how I knew something wasn't right. I also want to make this video just in case someone is going through the same thing and to just let you know that you're not alone and that you can just join my journey and you can come along with me. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's just hop right into the video. So basically when it all started, I was actually in cheer. So we had this one cheer competition or tournament or whatever and it was football season. So it was raining that day. So we had our little ponchos on. We was looking all cute. <laughs> um, but we had our ponchos on and I knew it was gonna rain. It was freezing, let me tell you. We never usually wear our like sweat outfit because we had like a little sweat, cute little sweat outfit. And we just never wear that. So we had our little ponchos. We had our sweat outfit on and um, the rain just started pouring down. <laughs> um. Everything else. Um, I had said this is pneumonia weather, so um, the weather just felt like. I knew I would get sick. I don't know why I left there, but I was, and at the time, I didn't know I had PCD and everything else, so obviously I wouldn't be out there, and I know I have limits now, can't do everything that I want to do, <laughs> but yeah, we had been out there, and I <laughs> said it was pneumonia weather, and right after that, I had got um, bronchitis, and I was throwing up, which I'll actually put a picture of right here. <laughs> but that happened and it was like bam 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 right after that I had got sick um I had got rhinovirus and pneumonia so I got stuck in the hospital and I was there on IV fluids um antibiotics and I was on oxygen so, I'm oh, sorry, I was on oxygen. So, I was there for, which I actually have it right down right here so I don't forget because it's kind of hard to remember everything. I was there at one hospital for four days. So, I was at my hospital, the hospital I always get to. I was there for four days and on the fourth day, I wasn't getting any better. I was actually getting worse and I looked so bad and I might actually put a picture right here um, if I want it. Um, I was there for four days and we got shipped. <laughs> My mom liked to joke about that. We were on ambulance and we got um, took to the other hospital. And we were there for three days. So the reason why we got took to the other hospital in an ambulance is because I wasn't getting any better. My pulmonologist isn't at the hospital. And so they couldn't do anything else for me. So my pulmonologist wanted me there at his hospital. So that's like a three hour drive. We, we were sad and everything. We were actually really scared because we hadn't been over there before. It was our first time being over there. Um, we were away from our family with three hours of drive. So we were super scared. But once we got over there, um, the ambulance drive was so long. It felt like it took forever. And it was so uncomfortable. My legs felt like they were going numb because of the way I was setting. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but the way I was setting, my legs got numb because I was like straight back. I don't know how to explain it, but I might actually put a picture right here. But I was just listening to music the whole time. We finally got there, and um, they, the hospital that we got taken out to, uh, it did not work together. So, um, the hospital didn't work together. We didn't really like it. As soon as I got there, it took them an hour to get into the room. I didn't have no oxygen, no IV fluids. Um, I didn't have any, any antibiotics running through my IV or anything. 
So once they finally got in there and they got settled and everything was, you know, perfectly fine, and then my doctor wanted to take me off oxygen. So the reason why he wanted to take me off oxygen was because, well, it wasn't my doctor, it was my pulmonologist, but <laughs> yeah, he wanted to take me off from oxygen. The reason why he wanted to take me off oxygen, so it would give my lungs time to breathe on their own. That way they would like learn how to breathe and like on their own. But if she know, then you know. But uh, he wanted to do a bronchoscopy and I was super nervous. Let me tell you, I, I started crying actually because I did not, I didn't want to get this. <laughs> Uh, I had to be put to sleep and I, you know me, I don't like being put to sleep and I would do anything just to get out of being put to sleep. But uh, the procedure I had to be put to sleep for, which I'll actually, I'll put a picture here of what it looked like after. But he had done the bronchoscopy and I had thick foamy white stuff in my lungs and I had thick secretions in my lungs so that was there in my lungs and if you don't know what a bronchoscopy is it is basically where you're sticking a tube right down your throat and it goes into your lungs and you're getting all that like mucus and anything that's out in your lungs he flushed my lungs out with all of that stuff that we haven't infected in. and hopefully he thought that maybe it would stop me from getting pneumonia so much because at the time we didn't know what was wrong. So we had done that and I <laughs> woke up and I will actually put a video uh, right now. Now. So every time I get, I wake up from anesthesia, um, I start singing. <laughs> I start singing or else I pretend like I'm listening to music or something. I don't even know what I do, but I'm over there bobbing my head and when I'm listening to music, I don't even know. But I had to talk to a doctor or one of the nurses that came in there and I kept saying that my brother was supposedly a comedian and that he was rich and makes a lot of money from being a comedian. And I was over there calling my family and everything, talking to him because I was under anesthesia. I didn't know what I was doing and I barely remember any of it, but <laughs> yeah. So that, it wasn't a bad procedure if you have had a bronchoscopy before and um, you know that it is a really a bad procedure and I got scared for nothing, but it, I do have to say that it was my first time being put to sleep in a very long time. And it was super scary, the thought of it, but I got through it and my mom was there the whole time. So that's a good thing because I'm mama's girl and I always like my mom to be there and she usually always is. Um, she never leaves the <laughs> hospital. Um, when I do get put in the hospital, she's always like right there by my side, we're over there worrying together, always making sure that they're giving me the right <laughs> medication each time. But that was basically that little hospital stay and I stayed at the other hospital for three days. So four days at the other hospital, three days at the hospital I got transferred to. And I finally got to go home and I was so excited. Um, we thought that this bronchoscopy would actually help me from not getting sick as much. And um, it wasn't, the only thing that the bronchoscopy really did, it made my throat a little sore. And it didn't like really hurt my lungs or anything. Uh, nothing really bad even happened. It just made me a little sore in my throat and that went away within time. But yeah, that was basically my hospital stay with rhinovirus and pneumonia. I will make another video of my other hospital stays and what I had then because if I put that all in one video, it's just going to be so much to talk about and it'll probably bore you guys. 
So I want to make it a little interesting and I will post my next video of my next hospital stay and what had happened then leading up to the final moment until I knew I had PCD. So I will just make different parts to this video. This is part one, of course. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me talking about my symptoms of PCD and how I first knew. Um, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you share with everyone you know, and make sure to join the family. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. <laughs> Bye.